If you enjoy the beauty and fragrance of sweet peas, now's the time you want to think about planting them. And they're so easy to plant. These are the climbing type, and I've fixed kind of a teepee here for them to grow up. So around the base, I'll plant the seeds. But first you'll notice I soaked the sweet pea seeds overnight in water. So I'll pour the water off of them now, and then just make, as you can see the pea seeds are fairly small and quite hard. So we'll just, with my finger, poke a hole about an inch deep, cover it, and I'm gonna put about four seeds around the base here of each of these posts. And only, at, keep in mind, only about an inch deep. Actually, I'm going to put five because I'm gonna put one on the inside here too. And I'll do the same thing. See how simple it is? Make a little hole, cover it over. Little hole with your finger, cover it over. Simple as that. And I'm getting about five, I guess, around each one of these. And that should grow up, oh, it should make a gorgeous display. And of course, the fragrance of sweet peas is just outstanding. Now, those are the climbing type. Those are the vine type, and they'll have long stems and beautiful flowers on them, too. But let's go over here and plant yet a different type. These are what are called the super snoop peas. And they only grow about knee high, so they don't need the staking at all. And yet they grow the long stems and the beautiful flowers at the same time. So as what I'll do, and you, I should have mentioned this with the others, is read the back of the packet so you know how deep to plant the seeds and how to plant them. And by the way, I mixed some processed manure in this bed first because sweet peas and garden peas love the organic uh, compost of manure particularly the well-rotted manure. So I'll take the, no, I'm not gonna take these out because I've already soaked some here. And again, these were overnight. I'll pour out the water, like so. And then let's space these about two to three inches apart across here. And I've, you can see I've already made the trough. I'll just do this all the way across. And you'll notice that this is about two or three inches deep. I guess closer to two than three. And all I'll do then is to cover over, oh, about an inch or so again, just like so. And I won't pat that down because if I patted that down, that of course would push the oxygen out of the soil. It's that simple really, and this is the greatest time of the whole year to plant the sweet peas, but you can also plant garden peas now.